So talk about the device and uh, the, the application and how it works exactly for our viewers. Sure, the UV hammer looks like this. And what it is, it's a mobile platform. The device has this wing that can go full vertical to full horizontal. It's pushed around by an operator behind a patented shield that blocks the UV. So there's zero third-party tested, zero operator exposure. If, and there's some third-party testing that shows even on a horizontal surface, on a vertical surface, we're laying down numbers greater than 25 millijoules per centimeter squared at a comfortable walking distance. And for people who are familiar with kind of the dosing, that's gonna give you a log four, or four log to six log kill of common hospital pathogens, uh, except for C. diff, which requires a little bit more dosing. And all you really have to do is slow down the machine, go at, at a slow walk, and you're going to get 50 millijoules per centimeter squared and get a good reduction of C. diff because you're so close to the surface. The other uh, issue is if you look at some of the other machines that are out there, and we're not afraid to name names, they are primarily stationary vertical units. And although some actually can move around the room. So again, that distance is really, really critical. So the other issue is what we call angle of incidence. There's another picture of the UV hammer in a healthcare setting. Uh, the other, I mentioned the shield. You can kind of see the shield here protecting the operator. The shield is really unbreakable. Uh, when we talk about angle of incidence, that's something that's often not appreciated. Oh, this is a, another view showing that the UV hammer over a meter can lay down at that comfortable walking speed, again, about 25 millijoules per centimeter squared that fast. It's because we're so, so close to the surface. And that's really the key differentiator of what the UV hammer does compared to the stationary vertical units. So this really shows the angle of incidence, meaning the relationship between the lamps and the surface.